a From Dublin to Cleveland production. Hello and welcome to From Dublin to Cleveland. I'm Logan Howard and I am joined as always by the one and only Brendan Thomas Merritt. How's it going, Brendan? How are you doing on this fine, lovely day? I was doing great, thank you, until I was abducted and unlocked in the basement of some stranger. It's very dark all around me. <laughs> For those of you who are just like, listening to the audio version of this, I am in a pitch black room and I have every single light on. I don't know what's happening. The darkness outside is swallowing me whole, people. <laughs> Yeah, he yes, had I do. he had he had kids screaming outside his window <laughs> earlier too. So yeah, <laughs> also screaming to get out to escape from the basement. <laughs> oh no, I am in overcast, uh, overcast Cleveland, Ohio. So this has been a cold couple days, but we had some nice days over the weekend. So it kind of you know it makes up for it. Um, but, uh, today our video is sponsored by our first ever ad. It is sponsored by Wongo puzzles. Are you tired of the same old boring puzzles? Mix things up with Wongo puzzles. Each puzzle is a custom design with intricate patterns, whimsical shapes that will keep you engaged for hours. They are 100% wooden puzzles. They are going to last forever. Each piece is hand-drawn, so no two pieces are the same, and you'll discover some fun, whimsy pieces as you work through it. They come in a custom wooden box, which is perfect for storage and gifting. Uh, with you stunning designs and unique shapes, Wongo puzzles are a cut above the rest. I am excited to do the snow globe puzzle myself. I, it is in the mail, on its way. Um, it was, it's going to be exciting to pull it out, be done with it in a night and not have it on the table for a month. Like some of the other puzzles I have. Um, so what are you waiting for? Go to wongopuzzles.com, pick up your puzzle today and be sure to use our promo code, uh, from Dublin to Cleveland to get 10% off your order. This is the most fun you've had with a puzzle guaranteed or your money back. Go to wongopuzzles.com, use the code from Dublin to Cleveland to get 10% off your order and get puzzling right now so with that we are sponsored by an ad exciting stuff we've had some exciting stuff lately we've had a lot of you listening and watching our videos and we're excited to see that we're, we're excited by the growth and hopefully these ads are not too annoying you can you know uh we're excited by them we're, the puzzles are in the mail for me i'm looking forward to using them um they have a really good story look it up on their website wongopuzzles.com um, and so let's get into our, our podcast episode today, which coincidentally has to do with puzzles. So I'll turn no. it over. To <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys. So, uh, keeping on the theme of puzzles, mysteries, and riddles, I am going to share a riddle with Logan. It is in the form of a story. He will ask me yes, no questions in the hope of solving said riddle. Uh, let us know at from Dublin to Cleveland at gmail.com if you piece it together before he did. Probably. All right, so <laughs> probably. I'm already lost. <laughs> <laughs> I told him that I was going to do this earlier, and he was like, I don't know what you said you're going to do, but. Okay, <laughs> we've got I, I no other you're... option for content. <laughs> the words coming out of his mouth are in fact English. I can confirm that, <laughs> but I don't understand what they mean. <laughs> All will soon be revealed. Okay, there is a room to an apartment. The door is locked. The window is open. There is water on the table, there is water on the floor, there is broken glass on the floor. Romeo and Juliet are dead. Dun dun dun! Roll the EastEnder scene tune. <laughs> you have to ask yes, no questions and solve the murder of Romeo and Juliet. All right. So, was it raining the night before? No. No. Okay. Um. So, 
did someone come through the window? Yes. Yes. Uh, did more than one person break through the window? No. No. Um, did Romeo or Juliet go through the window? No. Okay. Um, let's see. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> this is going to be a very long video. I, I, have compl- I have no idea what's happening. You've probably all solved it, and you know exactly what he's going after. Um, did Romeo kill Juliet and then kill himself? No. Did Juliet kill him and then kill herself? No. Did they each kill themselves? No, 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 no. That's not it, no. Okay. I'm just trying to rule out the actual this story. This is a family right show. Yet. Okay. All right. <laughs> so they're both dead. That, that, that was confirmed at the start, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. So they're both dead. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, man. And there's you, there was glass on the ground, then there's water. Um, did the water come from inside the building? Yes, it did. Uh, did somebody hit them with a fish tank? <laughs> I want to say yes, but negative. <laughs> so the water didn't. So did the water come from a fish tank? Actually, it did. Yes. Okay. Um, is the answer some kind of joke that I'm missing? (laughs) (laughs) Divine joke. (laughs) Divine joke. Uh, (laughs) it it, it is a riddle. (laughs) Like, is it just something obvious that I'm missing? Um, when you have the answer, you'll probably say it's pretty obvious. But we're, okay. right, we're, we're kind of shifting away from yes, no questions at this point. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to make this not a 50 minute episode of Logan guessing something that he never gets. Um, <laughs> so we've got a fish tank that's been shattered. We've got a window that's been shattered. Uh, and someone came through a window. Um... You said something there that has not been confirmed. What? Oh, did the did the uh, fish tank break? Yes. Yes, the fish tank broke. Um, did the did someone come through the window? Yes, I watched that. I know that you did. Um. And you said there's glass on the floor, right? There is. So what else am I missing? You said that someone had smashed the window. Oh, someone didn't smash the window? It was already open. Oh, the window's already open. Just came in. Uh, That's where your did, assumptions get you. Yeah, I see that. Did the... <laughs> Did Romeo and Juliet decide that they were going to eat one of their goldfish and then it was a poisonous goldfish and that's why they died? Dude, I just said this is a family show. No. <laughs> it's it's a family show, but they're dead, so that's still a thing. Like <laughs> Jesus was dead and we talk about him every episode. Come on. <laughs> Did somebody kill them? And the award for the Oscar goes to. (laughs) Presumably, yeah. I told you this was a bad idea. I don't understand what's going on. 
I am all of our viewers already what? have the answer. Come on, they're getting frustrated. Listen to this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to end up just giving it to me because I'm gonna be here for 30 minutes trying to figure this out and still not. Kidding. We've had 50 minute long episodes. They're used to waiting. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I absolutely have no idea what I'm supposed to ask or what I'm supposed to get at. I am I'm your close. Uh I have no idea. I absolutely have no idea. I, I, I don't know anything. I wasn't there. Uh <laughs> they must have been hopefully they're with Jesus one day. I don't I, I don't hopefully they're saved. Um I have no idea. <laughs> Come back to the window. Ask a question about the window. Ask a question about the window. No, you uh, might ask more than one, knowing you. Yeah, it's. I'm gonna ask who opened the window. It's a yes and no question. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, uh. But the answer to that is irrelevant. Well, then that's not helping me at all. Then we're just stuck in a loop. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck in a loop. I know the this answers. Is, this is killing me. I, I I literally have a Google button that's right there that I want to press. Well, if it's and killing you, you'll be in good company because Roman and Juliet are also dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, am I supposed to solve who killed them? It would help. Is the answer uh does the is the answer a person or some kind of name? No. No. Um, now you're asking the right questions. Is the answer a thing? An unliving thing? No. Is it a living thing? <laughs> You're right. This will take forever. Obviously. <laughs> it's not unliving. It's alive. Is it, uh, is it a type of animal? Yes. Uh, is the answer some... Is it is the answer a bear? Through a window. Cup yourself on. This is a serious riddle game. Is the window a small window? Irrelevant, but potentially. Irrelevant, but potentially. Is is this animal a bobcat? Yes. Yes. Does this bobcat have a name? Irrelevant. Do I need to know this bobcat's name? Nope. Did the bobcat kill them? Yes. Can I go home now? <laughs> you still have to piece them all together. Put together everything you've learned. A bobcat killed them. The fish tank had something to do with it. The window yes. was open. Yes. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I literally just know it's a bobcat, so I'm good. I can go home. <laughs> you're already home, and you're about to drive this home. You're one question away from solving everything. I don't think I am. <laughs> Can you give me the answer? <laughs> I can give you a clue. Focus on the cat and its relationship to fish tank. Huh? What? Uh, uh, let's, those of you listening, I'm sorry, Wongo. I'm sorry you decided to support this specific video. Um, you probably didn't realize how dense I was. Um. <laughs> oh, they probably knew. 
all 800 of our listeners I'm last week. Sure, awesome. yeah. I'm sure the Wongo puzzles are so much better than this puzzle you've given me. Um, <laughs> a bobcat and a fish tank. Mm-hmm. Walk into a room, drink, uh, drink the blood of Romeo and Juliet. I don't they, know. Cat didn't drink it, no. The cat didn't drink what? It's from the fish tank. Okay. Did it eat the fish? You are very, very close. Yes, but there is more to it. Our Romeo and Juliet fish. <laughs> so the cat came through the window and knocked over the fish tank and the fish died and the fish were Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Friends, I have just wasted my time, your time, and 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 maybe even God's time on that. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it wonderful what happens when we persevere, friends? <laughs> oh my word. Oh, I, I I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's great. <laughs> All right. So uh I'm not gonna be able to get revenge on him, at least this episode, but I'm gonna try. So I'm going to try some other riddles and maybe maybe you'll find some entertainment in that since that was just a nightmare. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed listening to it, but I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan has finally got his revenge for all those times I've given him quizzes and he didn't know the answer and he was like angry and frustrated. Seething finally, is the word I like to use. waited for the right moment, and this apparently was it. Right as we've got a new ad, new listeners, he's a pack. <laughs> I asked to read the Wongo's promo. He said no. I had to get my revenge somehow, friends. <laughs> that was my moment to shine. I'd rehearsed that all week. <laughs> well, in two episodes, you can read the next Wongo ad. All right. Anyway, uh, here is some easy riddles for you. We'll see if you can figure them out. Uh, what has to be broken before you can use it? Silence. No, good answer. Se- thank you. A secret. Also no, good answer. Wind. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a break before you can use this. And not. Um, you're in the right category of that it's edible. <clears throat> it's a food. Oh, I was going to say a heart next. Um, a shell. Eggs. Eggs. Yep. Boom. Ah. Got it. All right. Next riddle. I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? A person. No. No. A tree. No. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't say that. That wasn't me. (laughs) I'm tall when I'm young, I'm short when I'm old. Time. No, time's not tall. No. A flower. Nope, not a flower. As it wilts and dies because it gets old. Nope, not a flower. Tall. A building. Because as it turns to rubble and debris, obviously it gets smaller. Nope, not a building. A man. No. A woman. No, not a person. A girl. Not a person. 
Okay, relax Not yourself now, you behave. Tall. That's tall and then shrinks. Tall shrinks, tall shrinks. It tall. might melt. Ice cream. Nope. Chocolate. Nope. My mouth. A snowman. No. Good answer, though. <laughs> I think my answers are better than these actual answers. I think yours, yeah, you might not be wrong. Tall <laughs> <clears throat> tall notes. Ooh. Well, tall. just because it you think it's tall does not mean that it is actually tall. It just means that as the life expectancy goes, it gets smaller. So it could be only about this big. I think that's a misuse of the word tall. Well, I'm just trying to help. Do you need another hint? <laughs> Go on. Um, you have to set fire to it. You set fire to it and it melts. Yes. A candle. A candle. Yes. Aww. <laughs> A tall candle. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, what month of the year has 28 days? That's a riddle? It's a riddle, yes. <laughs> well, all of them. Absolutely right. First get. <laughs> you thought I was going to say February. You I thought you were. Get. I thought you were. <laughs> 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 what, is, what is full of holes but still holds water? Full of holes and still holds water. A puddle. No. Like a road, but puddles. A road of potholes. No. And the puddles get stuck on the potholes on the road. No, this has more than one hole. An ice cube holder. No. What's the question again? <laughs> what is full of holes but still holds water? Your skin pores. Uh, what do you use to, what do you use to clean things? Or do you use this item to clean things? A brush, a mop. Close. Uh, it's more of a handheld thing. A cloth. Also close. You're right on the tissue. No, you're getting farther away now. Wipes. No. A hood. When uh, it's raining. No, you wring it out. Something you wring out and you clean with. Rags. No. Uh, there's a animated character of it and it lives under the sea. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> a sponge. It's sponge, yes. <laughs> I think all my answers are much better than the actual answers are. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right. What question can you never answer yes to? Probably the questions you're asking during the Ranger <laughs> Yes story. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a yes no quiz. I want details. It's a yes no quiz. Give me details. <laughs> <laughs> Question you never answer yes to are you dead? Because obviously if your answer is yes, you're already dead. That's that's absolutely correct, and the correct answer is really close to it. 
it has to do with what the Bible refers to as death. Are you dead in your sin? No, because oh, I'm a sinner I saved by grace. Say it. I thought you were going to say it. Are you no. dead inside? No. Mm-mm. Are you a sinner? No. Are you sin personified? Are you death? No. I that 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 did that help didn't help. Um, <laughs> no, it really didn't. It's what you do from, let's say. 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. during the day. Or so it's 12. very good, friends. That actually is very close to my sleeping pattern. Are <laughs> 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 you asleep? Yes, yes. Are you asleep? <laughs> Some people talk in their sleep. Well, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> what is always in front of you but can't be seen? The future. The future. Absolutely right. Unless you're a seer, friends. God's always showing his seers the future. Great things are ahead. There's a one-story house in which everything is yellow. Yellow walls, yellow doors, yellow furniture. What color are the stairs? There's a one-story house across the road from me that has stairs, but I know it's not common. So I'm Mm. going to assume that this house actually doesn't have stairs. Absolutely right. You nailed it. (laughs) First (laughs) guess. All right. uh, Let's let's do a couple more, and then we'll go to our uh, Bible time. But uh, what can you break, even if you've never pick it up or touch it? Silence. Similar to that. Wind. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're you're in the right uh thought process area of it. Someone's heart. Ooh, very close. Someone's self esteem. No, go back to heart. Someone's soul. Uh no. Um What's the question? <laughs> Yeah, so what can you break even if you've never even if you never pick it up or touch it? Um and close, but you can make a a deal with someone and oh, you're gonna, a, a promise. A promise, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then their heart breaks as a consequence. Yep, very true. Um what goes up but never comes down? I was going to say a balloon, but I've seen balloons come down. (laughs) (laughs) The prayers of the righteous. The unrighteous prayers, well, they don't leave the ground, or so I've heard. But the righteous, they go straight up into that big bowl in heaven. Hmm. No, that's not what we're looking for. (laughs) Also not untrue, though. Always goes it has on. to do with the amount of years you have been on Earth. And your blood pressure. <laughs> no, no, that comes down. <laughs> I'm a living testimony. I, I think a lot of people blood need a blood pressure to come down. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> your age. A high, it's a high, yes, your age. <laughs> All right, last question, then we'll get to our Bible passage. Mm -hmm. A man who was outside in the rain without an umbrella or hat didn't get a single hair on his head wet. Why? (laughs) Well, I'm going to resist the urge to give out to a guy for not going outside wearing with an umbrella and like, you know, this weather. In Ireland, we go April showers. You don't stop wearing trousers, coats, and carrying umbrellas until at least the month of May. But uh, I'm gonna figure out, or figure this guy was bald. He's bald, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. That has been your puzzling moments with Brendan and Logan. <laughs> and I answered all of mine fast, and the truck came to answer one. Just saying, he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is always. 
<laughs> All right. Well, turn in your Bibles to John 14, verse 26. Um, I will read it for us, and then I'll turn it over to Brendan. So verse 26 in John chapter 14 says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. So, Brendan, what uh, what what do you like about this verse and passage? I like all of us, actually. <laughs> the beautiful thing, friends, is Holy Spirit indwells all believers. There's one faith, there's one baptism, there's one church. And no matter what denomination you go to, what tradition you belong to, if you believe in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ as sufficient for the forgiveness of all your wickedness, past, present, and future, on to salvation, that you're now a citizen of heaven, and that when you die and leave this world, you will go and live in the world of heaven, the Father's house, you're a child of God, and Holy Spirit lives within you. And the wonderful thing is he empowers us to run our race and to live this life successfully, powerfully, gently, authoritatively, and all the other good stuff that the fruit of Holy Spirit um, tells us about, that chapter in the Bible, in Galatians. And there will be times when you encounter certain situations and you don't know what to do or who to trust, or how to respond to certain things. But Holy Spirit lives within you. He's always there with you. He never abandons you. You're never actually alone. And you can say, Holy Spirit, how do I respond here? I remember there was one day I was at work and people were talking about, um, I think like there's the certainty of, of, of death when someone gets such a, such a sickness or whatever. Mm. And I just said, what an absolute pile of codswallop. <laughs> and I was, oh, my blood was boiling. So I said, Holy Spirit, you speak through me because I'm about to open my mouth and so help me. If I say what I want to say, <laughs> I'm not going to represent Jesus very well. <laughs> and next thing, I began testifying about someone in my world who had come down with the horrific sickness from the enemy and it killed him three times and mm. Jesus still brought him back each time <laughs> <laughs> and and restored him to the fullness of health and after I said it you know can you sit back in your chair and you're like oh my goodness did that just happened I said well done Holy Spirit good job but that was such a better answer to what I was actually going to say or there was another time when um, one of my pastors was at church and she was going to lead a meeting on a Monday night, a prayer meeting. And she got this deep, she was in the, in the toilet, but she got this deep sense, don't leave the toilet. And she thought, what the? So she heard -da 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 -da, someone playing the keyboard in the auditorium. So she went into like, you know, a, a room, it's the kids' room, basically, and kind of looked through the window and saw a guy she'd never seen before playing the piano or the, the keyboard. And she thought, who is that? And Holy Spirit impressed in her heart, go back to the toilet and hide there. So she went back into the toilet, pulled out her phone and called a sister in Christ who had backslidden but lived near enough the building, and said, hey, listen, come to church. There's someone here. I don't know who he is. You go in. I'll come with you. It'll be two against one. He won't try anything if there are two of us. So after some resistance, <laughs> the back spider was like, you're just trying to trick me. She eventually came. And then the, the pastor walked out, and the two ladies spoke to him, and then the people began filing in gradually. But they discovered after the guy had finally left the building, that he had actually just gone out of jail, but actually he was a sex offender 
he'd been in jail for so many years for having raped women. So that was a situation where, yes, Holy Spirit is not a spirit of fear. He's a spirit of sound mind, of boldness. He's also his Holy Spirit of cop on, of wisdom, of basic mm-hmm. intelligence. And he knows all things. You can't hide anything from him. As it says in that verse, he reveals all secret things, all hidden things. Yeah. Why? Because he knows that we are not clever enough to navigate this world left mm-hmm. our own devices. Our brains are incredible machines. Our bodies are incredible machines. Holy Spirit is on another level. Yeah. So when you get that impression, friends, from Holy Spirit telling you, don't do this, go there, trust this, don't give that person an inch, don't visit that person, give 50 euros, dollars, pounds to that one, be obedient. He knows what he's telling you. So if you're listening to this and you don't know the voice of Holy Spirit, I would say you need to get involved in the Word of God more and reading it, studying it, meditating on it, resting in it. Mm. And you will come to discern his voice a lot more easily. He is a God who lives and who speaks. They're the two things he is the best at. And he will speak to you. But usually it's in the quiet moments that still small voice but you just have to carve out that time of your day to get to know his voice, to know when he's impressing things in your heart. I could give an infinite number of other examples, but I'll cap it at two for time, because it took Logan so long to get the riddle to uh, Rowan Juliet. So, Roski, over to you. <laughs> what did that verse speak to you? Uh, yes, it, it is very true. The, the Holy Spirit is very good at bringing the exact words you need to say. Um, even when you prepare your words or what you think you're going to say, it's amazing how God brings out the absolute correct words of what you need to say in the moment and mm. helps you to encourage people or helps you to help people. Um, I remember having, um, one of my good friends, he, uh, he had been, I, I hadn't, you know, hadn't talked to him in a while, hadn't heard from him in a while. Uh, but like there was one night of sleeping, I couldn't sleep at all. And the Holy Spirit brought his name to my mind. Um, and so I was like, well, I'm going to pray for him. Hopefully things are okay. He's doing fine, but I'm going to pray and ask him to help him. Um, not two weeks later, he gave me a call and he said to me, Hey, um, so I had an interesting situation happen such and such a time ago. And I was like, Oh, wh- how, what, when was that? And he was like, well, it was, it was the exact same date that I was praying for him. It was the exact same time that I was praying for him. He was trying to help a friend who uh, called him late at night and said, Hey, do you want to, I, I need you to come over and get me. I'm at this party and this guy's trying to shoot me. And, um, so my friend got involved in that situation, um, and it was pretty chaotic, pretty crazy. Um, but Mm. I, the Lord put on my, my heart, wouldn't let me sleep, even though I was tired and needed the sleep that I needed to pray for him. And, uh, God worked out the whole situation, um, and, you know, brought, brought him and saved or protected him through, uh, just through my prayer of just going, well, Lord, um, pray for him, keep him safe. So uh, for those of us as Christians who have sometimes those moments that we're like, why can't I sleep? Or why can't I, why can't I do this? Maybe the, the maybe the Lord is pressing on you to pray for somebody and to think of mm-hmm. somebody. Um, because he does that. He does wake you up yeah. in the middle of the night for what seems like no reason, but in reality it's for a higher purpose and he needs you to, uh, to pray and to ask and go before the father for, for that friend or person in need. Um, so God does that. He still works in those ways. Um, Amen. It's not, it's not like with the Holy spirit, we have wise words that can come out from, from us. And it also puts us in those kind of situations like Brendan dealt with and his friend dealt with. And in situations like I've dealt with in terms of having to stay up late at night, praying for somebody that you don't even know. Um, or don't even think of in that moment or haven't seen in a long time just to pray for them. And they're in a moment where they need that prayer. So, um, well with that, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my foolishness and, uh, (laughs) denseness. 
Uh, thank you to Wongo Puzzles for supporting us and um, you know every single uh, every single one that you guys buy from them. If you feel led to buy from them, you like their puzzles, it does help us out as well. So you're helping out our podcast. You're helping out Wongo Puzzles, which is a good company, and they have good quality stuff. And you're helping us out at the same time. So it's kind of a win-win there. Um, you get a 10% discount. You get to get a cool puzzle and have fun with your friends. So support support Wongo Puzzles. Support us. Uh, send us an email from Dublin to Cleveland uh, at gmail.com. If you'd like to get in touch with us, we'd love to get to know all of you who are listening to us. Um, we haven't had a true email from someone in a while. So send us an email. <laughs> <laughs> I love when Logan goes off script and just begins <laughs> venting. Uh, and you, as always, you can find us on YouTube. Brendan has YouTube videos up. He keeps really good up to date with them. Um, we have Facebook uh, at From Dublin to Cleveland. At, um, I almost said gmail.com, but no. Uh, at From Dublin to Cleveland, you can find us on there. Uh, we've been getting some more people on there as well. So we're thankful for all of you who are listening. Find us both on Instagram, Brendan Thomas Merritt, and uh, at Banana Man Seventeen, um, so you can support us on there. Follow us, uh, send us friend requests. We might have a moment of who are, who is that person, but we'll eventually accept your friend request. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> so I think that's all I have to add. Uh, have yourselves a lovely week, and we will see you next time. Bye, friends. Take care, Nate. <laughs>